Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, guess what? This is episode number 37 of Monday Morning Moment. And you're probably going, okay, great, so what? Well, how about this? This is also the one year anniversary of the very first Monday Morning Moment post. Yeah. Okay, so you're thinking, whoop you do for you, Shep. So what's the point? Well, here's the point. What's the point? I mean, why have I been doing this for a year? I mean, what's going on? And what, you know what's most important, though, is what's in it for you? Well, guess what we're going to do today? That's right. We're going to dive a little bit deeper because, you know, we're getting ready to start year two. It's time we got some clarity on what's going on here and how it can benefit you. Okay, so you may want to stick around for this. Uh, this could be good. So this is your Monday morning moment. We're starting here too. It's time to rock and roll, people. Yeah, so what's the point? Well, you know, it just dawned on me as we're heading into year two that uh, probably I need to share with you guys exactly what the heck is going on here and uh, why I'm doing it. Uh, so I'm going to do that in this first part of the video. Uh, you might have seen that we have part two that's coming up next week. So first thing I want to do, though, is say thanks to all of you that have been watching Monday Morning Moments and supporting it. I'm very grateful. I'm humbled uh, and I feel very blessed. Hopefully going to continue doing that in year two. Uh, please share with anybody you think may find benefit in it. So the other thing is, I hope you stick around to the end of the video because I have a special tribute uh, to a special person. So please stick around. All right. Why am I doing this? Well, let's go back to September 9th. Do you remember I did a video on the movie uh, Overcomer? And the main theme of that movie was, if someone asked you who you are, what would your answer be? All right. Well, I'm going to give you my answer. You ready? You sitting down? If somebody asked me, Shep, who are you? I would say, I'm a practicing Christian. And you're going to go, what, what the heck is a practicing Christian? Well, if you think about it for a second, you know, doctors practice medicine. Lawyers practice law. And the reason they say practice is because we never perfect those things, do we? Um, we're always working at it and practicing it and hopefully getting better. Well, the same is true of Christians, okay? None of us will ever be perfect Christians. We just, it's not in the cards. It ain't going to happen. So we're practicing. We're working at it. And that's what I, I'm working at it every day. I'm a practicing Christian. It's important to me. The other part of this is the fact that, you remember we did our spiritual gifts testing uh, six, seven months ago? All right, well, one of the things on my list, uh, actually number two on my list, is teacher. Uh, which makes sense. I was a teacher most of my professional life, but it's just something that, you know, it's a gift that God's given me. So I'm a practicing Christian and I'm a teacher. That's great. We have you identified, Shep. Wonderful. Doesn't explain why you're doing this. All right. Well, here's the reason in a nutshell. And of course, it's a gold nugget Bible verse. This comes from the book of James, chapter 2, verse 41. Are you ready? What good is it? My brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith, but has no deeds. Yeah. So let me translate that for you in 21st century language. That means, are you talking the talk or are you walking the walk? Well, friends and neighbors, as a practicing Christian, uh, I need to walk the walk. And what I'm doing here with Monday morning moments and some other things I'm going to share with you, I'm trying to walk the walk using the gifts that God's given me. And one of those is teacher. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it's giving you some idea of where I'm coming from and you're going, aha, I get that now. Okay, but there's more. All right, so the more is simply this. Think about it. You and I have something in common, don't we? Yeah, we're all just trying to make it through this life one day at a time the best we can, aren't we? It doesn't make any difference what your gender is, what your race is, what your nationality is. It doesn't even matter what your political persuasion is, does it? We are all in this boat of life together, trying to make it through another day. All I want to do is try and help with that process. And of course, I believe having a strong faith is the way, the best way to get through life. But friends and neighbors, I can tell you from experience, you can't do it by yourself. If you haven't even the remotest thought of growing your faith, sticking your toe in the water, 
you're going to have to do it with people. You can't do it alone. Uh, I know that because I tried. It just don't work. And it's and you can. There's countless scriptures in the Bible that advise you do it with a community. So what am I trying to do? I'm trying to build a community. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. A safe community where people can connect, who have a thought and are curious about what it means to live a life with faith. It doesn't make any difference where you are in your faith walk. This is a safe place. I'm just the guide. You know what I'm saying? I'm just the guide. And that's what teachers do. So that's it for part one. I hope I've whetted your appetite, piqued your interest, because we're going to get into a little bit more specific detail next week in part two. And then we're going to rock and roll the rest of the year. I'm excited. I hope you are too. I've got some interesting things to, to throw at you in part two. All right, friends and neighbors, as we wrap up part one, uh, I just want to say to you guys and maybe you girls too, you know we all need heroes in our lives. And uh, here's a tribute to, to my very first hero. Today is my dad's birthday. He would have been 98 years old. And just like all of us, he had his flaws, but he was quite literally the finest man I've ever known. Life threw him some wicked curveballs now and then, but he managed each one with dignity, grace, perseverance, and unquestioned character. He taught me how embracing the suck just makes you stronger. He was as good a role model as a son could hope for, Miss you, Pop. Happy birthday. All right, everybody. Till next week, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Have a great week. Come back next week for part two. We'll see you then.